what is going on guys Tanjuri here thanks for tuning in today I will be giving my personal opinion on whether you should sell the PlayStation Vita and buy the Nintendo Switch Lite before we start let me know what you guys think about this topic in the comment below I am very curious to know what you guys think about this topic to see whether you guys agree to sell or trade in your PlayStation Vita for the Nintendo Switch Lite Alright, let us begin. The PlayStation Vita was released on year 2012 while the Nintendo Switch Lite will be releasing in 2019. It's almost a 7 year gap and I would probably say the PlayStation Vita still holds up very good up to this day. To be honest, the PlayStation Vita doesn't feel like it's an old console. It just felt like the PlayStation Vita was released just yesterday. Honestly, until now, I'm still enjoying playing the PlayStation Vita very much. As for the Nintendo Switch Lite, it's a really powerful handheld console capable of running AAA games while on the go. I can't wait to see how the feature tree runs on the Nintendo Switch Lite. On the other hand, the size of the Nintendo Switch Lite will be slightly larger than the PlayStation Vita. It has a 5.5 inch display while the PlayStation Vita has only a 5 inch display. The Nintendo Switch Lite display will obviously be more nicer compared to the PlayStation Vita display. But still, if you are comparing the size factor, the PlayStation Vita will still have the advantage as its size and weight are still having the advantage over the Nintendo Switch Lite. You can easily shove your PlayStation Vita into your pocket and bring it out anywhere you want without getting noticed by other people around you. While the Nintendo Switch Lite will be a little bit larger and thicker due to the controller and its size, you might need to get yourself a casing or a hard carrying case for you to carry around without damaging your console. Speaking of accessories, I'm sure you can find any used PlayStation Vita accessories on the internet with an affordable price. As for the Nintendo Switch Lite, that might be a different case obviously. The Nintendo Switch Lite accessories might be quite expensive as it's still new to the market. The battery life on both consoles will be quite similar. It's all depending on what other games you're running, whether you max out the screen brightness while you're playing it. Moving on, the Nintendo Switch Lite will be having a lot of cool games coming soon. Especially with a smaller size than the original Nintendo Switch, it will be much more convenient to bring out on the go. Oh boy, there are tons of games that I really love to play on the Nintendo Switch, starting with Super Smash Bros, Super Mario Odyssey, and the Pokemon series. And I really wanted to experience playing Skyrim while on the go. Sadly, I could not afford the Nintendo Switch due to its price. Even if I own a Nintendo Switch, there's no way I can keep on spending the money on the Nintendo Switch games. They are way too pricey for me. Well, don't get me wrong, I still love every single one of the Nintendo Switch games ever created. I might eventually borrow some games from my friend in the future if I personally purchase my own Nintendo Switch Lite. On the other hand, the PlayStation Vita games are getting fairly cheap now. You can buy used Vita games with an affordable price. Yeah, I know, I know, the PlayStation Vita games are quite old and obviously the price will be getting lower and lower. Aside of that, the PlayStation Vita can be hacked and you can install tons of games into a PlayStation Vita and that will keep you busy enough. There are some games that you cannot be missed if you own a PlayStation Vita, such as Persona 4, Killzone Mercenary and boy, the PlayStation Vita was full of visual novels and fighting games. Next, the Nintendo Switch Lite or the Nintendo Switch will be having the advantage on the online multiplayer. Some of the games on the PlayStation Vita such as Wipeout 2048 and PlayStation All-Star Battle Royale shut down their online server. And most of the online games on the PlayStation Vita are still barely alive. At least there are still someone playing Call of Duty, Declassify and Killzone Mercenary. Well, the Nintendo Switch system will need you to pay a small amount of fee in order for you to play online, while the PlayStation Vita does not. But still, the Nintendo Switch will be still having the advantage on this. Well, in conclusion, just choose the one that will satisfy and you will enjoy the most. Don't get me wrong, the PlayStation Vita and the Nintendo Switch system will stay in my heart forever. These two are the greatest handheld console ever created. 
I will eventually wait for the Nintendo Switch Lite price to drop down a little bit and I will consider to buy it. Even if I wanted to sell my PlayStation Vita for the Nintendo Switch Lite, I will make sure that I complete every must play games on the PlayStation Vita or else I will regret it forever. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Comment down below if you have any questions and we'll see you guys in the next one.